In the Rumu territory in the Eastern DRC, men are at work. They are former militia members, now part of the disarmament, demobilization, community reintegration and stabilization program. After laying down our arms according to the law, we were billeted here to learn while waiting. Fortunately, OIM brought us this work to maintain this road. This is what we are currently doing here. This work is very important to us because we think that in the end, everyone will have something to take home when they return. So far, 175 ex-combatants from different militia groups now coexist peacefully with the aim of resuming normal lives as civilians. We saw there was no advantage in waging war because we had destroyed all our villages for no reason. When I learned that I could surrender and become useful, I surrendered. I am here with the others. We refuse to return to the bush. That's why we are here. They have also been working on farm projects where they are producing for sale. It was because of unemployment that I took up arms. It was because we had no job or occupation that we joined the rebellion to have at least one occupation. We only stole and pillaged people to survive, so I decided to take up arms. But I saw that we kill people without having any interest. We steal people's things without bringing development to our society. So I found that it was better for me to leave that life and become a normal person again. For decades, Eastern DRC has been a hotbed of conflict, leaving millions of people dead and displaced. The new government initiative seeks to offer a ray of hope that disarmament can eventually end conflict and bring about much-needed peace. Wanja Mungai, CGTN.